Good morning, guys. This is Mr. Holmes getting ready to teach you guys about translations. All right. Now, translations is one of the four basic transformations that we're studying here in high school. And what I want to do today is quickly just explain to you guys how translations work. All right. Behind me, what I have for you guys is a 10 by 10 grid with a triangle ABC on it. Triangle ABC has the coordinates for A as 2 comma 6. Coordinates for B is at 2 comma 2 and C is at 4 comma 2. All right. What I want to do is talk about translations. Remember, translations is simply a sliding effect of a figure. The size does not change, nor does the orientation of it. Meaning we're not going to twist it at all. We're not going to spin it around. We won't flip it at all. All right. So, <clears throat> and we won't change it in any size. The size and everything will remain exactly the same. The figure will stay congruent to its uh, pre, and po pre and post image will be congruent. However, it's just a sliding effect. So here, if I take the same triangle and I slide it across the grid in any way, shape, form, or fashion, this is called a tra simply a translation. All right. When you do this here, we have we take all x we take all x values and we take all y values, and we're gonna move them in such a way to where we're gonna create a point such that if I move the figure to the right, the x-axis goes left and right, so we'll be dealing with in a positive direction. If I move the figure to the left, not all the way to the negative side per se, but if I just move it left one time, it's still going to the left. The minus sign represents the direction in which it's going to, whether it's the positive direction or the negative direction. My y-axis goes vertical, up and down, so if I move it up, that's a positive direction. Here, that means I'm going to have y plus some number. It's according to how many times I moved it. And if I move it down, even if it's one time, it's, it don't have to be in a negative. The fact that I moved down makes this here a minus sign. This number will tell you how many times I moved this figure. All right? This would be the, what I call the rule for translations. All right, and it's just this simple. Here, if I take this figure here and I move it, let's say if I move it two times to the right, that's going to be one, that's going to be two, and then I'm going to move it three times up. All right, so two times to the right, I'm going to go ahead and write it as X. I'm going to the right, so that's a plus sign. I moved it two times to the right, so it's going to be X plus two. All right, and remember, all points is x comma y. Now, what's going on with my y values? Here, again, I'm going to move it two times to the right. All right, so one, two, and I'm going to go up three times. So up is a positive direction, so I'm going to put a plus sign because I'm going in a positive direction, and I'm going to go up one, two, three. Notice all points move at the same time. So it's going to be y plus 3 there. Now, let's say, for instance, you're taking the same figure. I wanted to move it down 3 and to the left, let's say 5. I'm just making these numbers up. All right? So always left and right first. Remember, x comes before y, just like in alphabetical order, right? So here I'm going to have another point. And with my x values here, if I'm going to go to the left five times, I'm going to have one, two. Notice all I'm doing is sliding it across. Three, four, five. And after the fifth time, there's going to be x. I'm going in the negative direction. So minus five. And let's just go down once. I'm going to change it to down once. I'm only going to move down one time. It's the y values. The y axis goes up and down. So I'm dealing with the y values at this point. I'm going down. Because I'm going down, I'm going to have a negative there. And I'm going to only go down one time. And since I'm only going down one time, I'm going to put the number one there. Here's my rule here. And I have my figure here. Notice, even though I'm not in the negatives and the y values, I still have to put a minus sign. Again, the minus sign does not tell you that the one is negative. 
in this case, it tells you that you move the Y values down one time. Here it tells you you move the X values to the left five times from the original figure. Once you do this, you will put a small hyphen next to each one of these variables, letting the reader know that, hey, this is the post image. You have the pre-image or the image itself, then you have the new image, which is your post image. All right, so let's try this one more time. I'm gonna give us the rule here, and the rule I want us to follow, follow is x minus one, y plus two. Now remember, the x value is gonna go to the left one time, the y value is gonna go up two times from the original figure. So here I'm gonna take it and move it to the left once, and then after this I'm gonna go up two times. One, two. And this will be my post image. This is where I will go back and replot and put my hyphens next to each variable. Now, say I'm using what we call patty paper here. If you don't have patty paper, remember, we can simply do this by hand. All right? By hand, I would say, okay, I'm going to go to the left one time. So here, I'm going to move to the left once. And then I'm going to move each point the same amount of times. And I'm going to go up two times. One, two. Here, it'll be my A prime. I'm gonna do the same thing for my B. Here, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go to the left once, up two. One, left once, up two. This will be my B. I'm gonna go to the left once, then go up two. This will be my C. And I still have my triangle A, B, C prime. Guys, that's all it is for translation, given a rule. Now what I want to talk about is, how do I find the rule if I was not given the rule? All right. So I'm still going to use triangle ABC. Only difference is now I'm going to take and put triangle ABC in a different place. A, B, C. All right, here's my triangle ABC. Now I'm going to slide this up a little bit. And I want to know what happens if here becomes point B. I ask you, what's the rule? What's the rule? And this is what you must find. What's the rule here? When I say the rule, I want to know. X, X plus something, Y plus something, X minus something, Y minus something. What was my rule here to, if I move this B, here. Well, remember, you always start off with the x values. The way that we do this is, remember, you had to take this figure. I'm going to do it first using the patty paper, and I'm going to show you how it would look, then I'm going to go back and do it by hand. Here, to get this B here, remember, don't go down first. You always go left or right. You got to do the x before the y. So here, to get this to line up here, I will simply move this figure over one, two, three, four, five times. Notice I'm going to the right. Because I'm gonna go right, I have to put it as a plus sign. Yes, I'm on the negative side of the x-axis, but remember, this is not about negative or positive. The operation symbols represent direction. All right, since I'm going in a positive direction, I put a plus sign. So my B value, I needed to line up here. All right, so I'm gonna move it over. One, two, three, four, five times. That's how I'm going to get my X. Look at the bottom of your screen here. X plus five. I move to the right five times. Now let's talk about the Y values. Notice here I'm already above the point I need to go to, so I'm going to have to move down. Because I'm moving into down, down is a negative direction, so I'm going to put minus. Notice I'm using the word direction. I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six. I got B to line up when I move the figure five times to the right and down six units. So this is how I get the root x plus five and y minus six. 
Now, what if I'm not having, if I don't have a patty paper by hand? I'm gonna use a different color this time. All right, if I don't have patty paper by hand, how would I come up with the same rule? Well, again, by rule, I would simply move this over using only the B value. One, two, three, four, five. Notice I am in the same alignment. So I'm going to the right, so that's a plus five. Here, and that's why I get my X plus five. From here, I will move down. One, two, three, four, five, six. I move down, that's my negative direction, six units. And here, this is how you find the rule. So quick, re-over cap. At the beginning, I gave you the rule, and I showed you how to move utilizing the rule. Now I'm giving you a I'm giving you a figure and a point and I'm asking you to find the rule. And this is how you will find the rule. Guys, again, this has been Mr. Holmes explaining to you guys how to use translations to find the rule and how to use the rule. If you know Mr. Holmes, you know what I'm about to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a blessed day.